Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tuner Questions and today we're going to have another look at OpenPGB or pretty good privacy, the free version. So when you're using Apple Mail to send off encrypted emails, it's very, very easy because it's plugged in and all you have to do is to click on this button here and it's going to be encrypted. Click on this button here and it'll be signed and you can see we've got a little message at the top there to say it's all going to be done. So maybe you just want to encrypt this portion here, this wee paragraph here. So what we do is to right click on that there after we've selected it go to services and choose encrypt selection and then we choose the key that we're going to use to encrypt it I'm going to choose this key here because it's one that I can use to decrypt it as well because I have the secret key to go with this as well don't forget that if you do encrypt with somebody else's public key you're not going to be able to decrypt it and I've got to put the passphrase in there for this secret key so once you've got your password in there click OK and there you go that message or the part of the message that we wanted to Encrypted has been encrypted and if you want to decrypt it all you've got to do if you've been sent a message like this You select from here including the hyphens at the end and the hyphens at the beginning as well So we've got all that selected do a right click on that there go back down to the services menu again And you can click on a decrypt selection There is this other one here as well where you can decrypt selection to new window and let's do that one and see how that works and again, I've got to put the passphrase in there. This time I've got to put the passphrase in for the one that I used to encrypt it. So I've just got the passphrase there from 1Password and I'm going to click on OK. And the message has been decrypted into a separate window. So there you can take that and do whatever you want with it. So that's pretty handy, isn't it? If I want to decrypt it into the same window, all I've got to do is go to Services and go to Decrypt Selection. And there you go, I didn't have to put the password in that time because the password is already stored in this here as part of the plugin for Apple Mail. So there you go, you know how to do that now within an email. Now if you could do me a favour, I really would appreciate it. Click on the share button and share this video out to your friends. There are other places that you can send it out to as well, including Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. But what about if you're in text documents you want to just uh, encrypt a part of a text document? Well, same thing happens there, so select the text, go for the services menu and go for encrypt selection. Choose the key that you want to encrypt it with. I'll use the same one again. And I will sign it as well. Click on that one there, click OK. And as you can see, that's been encrypted and it can't be read anymore. Unless I decide I'm going to decrypt it. And the same as before, select all of that there. And even though it's not looking the same because of the different type of uh, word wrap on that there we can still decrypt it so go to the services menu again and go to decrypt selection and there you go but what about if you've been doing this here and you can't see the services available well that's quite easy let's go into the keyboard menu so here we are in services and we've gone to keyboard shortcuts and to services and we're going to make sure that we've got open PGP, decrypt file, encrypt file, import, sign file, validate. Have all of those put in there. And there are other services in there that you can choose to use as well if you want to. But we're just concerned with the open PGP ones. So now we've come down to this one here, which is for text. And let's go down through this here. And we can see in the text we've got a lot of services to choose from. Or I have anyway, and we've got the open PGP ones there. So decrypt, decrypt selection to window, open PGP encrypt. This one's encrypt selection to new window. So choose the ones that you want to use out of there. You're probably not going to need the insert my fingerprint much, but you can put it in there if you want to. Same with verify. Uh, just choose the ones that you think are going to be useful to you. You may find it necessary with uh, this application here, Byword, to do a Restart of the application so that the services start working. I did that and it's working again. And you've got all the services that you need to be able to do any signing of selections, importing a key if it's a key that you're looking at, or encrypting or decrypting selections. So there you go, this is Dave Allen and another bit of stuff that you can do with your OpenPGP encryption and services. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.